phenomenally well in their last set. Uh, we'll definitely see how this plays out here, but I'm excited to see this. We're going to see a lot more gauntlets uh, and a lot more Mordex. Mordex also uh, kind of cool. Yeah, I was really curious of like maybe that set count was uh, a bit like it's taking in previous year's data. And I think that's the case here because in the most recent battle, it was the trial of Heimdall where Markimu did win out 3-1. So in terms of recency, Markimu has been doing just a little bit better. Mm -hmm. We'll definitely see how it works out here. As we get started right now, a lot of strong damage coming out from Bunny here. Great read. Look for a uh -oh. second hit. Not going to be able to find it. Swept to take out that first dive. Both of them in a very precarious position. Man, I was expecting Markimu to go for that Nair and just reverse it so that Bunny was in the open air. But unfortunately, not able to get the KO while Bunny was sweat beating up at the top of the map. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here we are, both of them doing a little bit of dance. And, uh, punching each other a couple times in the head. But there we go. Markimu finding back his way on stage here, but Bunny not really feeling too happy that they are back on stage. Both of them taking turns nairing each other and punching each other. <laughs> it's just nonstop. Yeah, I mean, that's that's a good old gauntlet fist fight right there. Marky Moo gets above the down sig, manages to find that side oh. air, but it's going to be the neutral sig from Bunny to get the first stock of game number one. The biggest of uppercuts there, closing that out. And uh, honestly, in the red too, Marky Moo should be able to take out this stock relatively quickly. All right, doesn't do it there, but now has Scythe. Tosses that Scythe away. I think they were definitely looking for a setup with the uh, the GC uh, D-Light ground pound, but like just was not able to find it. Dude, Bunny is living very long, despite being in the strength stance on the Rayman. Okay, <laughs> it's going to be the weapon toss that ends up actually finishing off the stock. But I was a surprise there, because Bunny was deep red, and those gauntlet recoveries weren't that low. I feel like at one point, she probably felt like she touched the wall and then just drifted away and just yeah. did not get the reset that she wanted. But it is what it is. Uh, right now, Mark Smooth definitely doing a good job of answering back, though. However, this could be bad news, but great stuff from Bunny being able to get back because I felt like that could have been a surest thing stock if Marky Moo was probably just a little more aggressive. Yeah, I mean, that weapon toss was looking very threatening, but Bunny managed to scrap back. Ooh. Still good damage in favor of Bunny right now. Bunny could look for KO tool in a minute. Mm -hmm. Ooh, <laughs> nair for nair. Everybody putting their hands in the air right now. Oh, no, it's Marky Moo who actually gets in. It's that classic, the nair, gravity cancel, side light recovery. Mm -hmm. Okay. There we go. She just tries to put on a little bit of damage, create some space for herself. She gets that axe, weapon oh. toss, and that is going to be enough. All right, I was going to say, <laughs> <laughs> Bunny, you got a real low with that ground pound. Hey, where, where are you going with that? But now the weapon stop here. Oh, juggling the weapons and getting some good damage in there. I always like that. A good, a good old weapon toss and then catching it. You know, I love these alley oops. Very satisfying to hit. Uh, Marky Moo back on stage. Has the scythe. Haven't seen too much of the scythe here. And yeah, there's a good active input in there to put Bunny in the off stage. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Another one. Let's keep her out there. No. Yeah, off stage. But OK, you do have to allow her back on so you can get that weapon on the other side. But now we got the gauntlets here. Should be closing this out relatively soon. Marky Moo looking for the setup. Barely misses out on that. Actually goes the wrong direction here. Now Bunny on the offensive end. And Marky Moo looking for a Nair. Not able to find what they want. Oh, no, another missed one. That's twice now. Bunny has dodged out and oh. away from Marky Moo. <laughs> OK, get back to the stage or else Ooh. you might. Oh, wow. Uh oh. OK, stays low this time. Enough wall there. Oh, going to go for the raw end sig there. Trying to catch Bunny. Bunny oh. deep red. <laughs> oh, no. What do you do? Run off stage. Little oh, panic. Dude, Mark, yep, that That'll should be it. it. Yeah. yeah, very good stuff there. Staying composed at the very end, especially when you miss like three setups to close mm -hmm. that game out. Uh, very well done by Marky Moo. Definitely goes to show they got a nice mentality. It doesn't matter if you make a mistake. What matters is how you recover from there. Yeah, I mean, it, despite hitting like sidelight into nothing for a couple of moments there, uh, Bunny wasn't really getting any responses. Like mm -hmm. Marky Moo was just looking for those KOs. <laughs> and there you see it. Yep, there's the spot dodge. That sidelight recovery. Just putting their hands up. They're playing my song. Three, Butterfly, two, fly away. One, You're not worried about DMC for that one? Oh, uh, no, because I can't sing. Oh, uh, yeah. okay. That's Miley Cyrus. You think I could sound like her? Come on. She is very talented. She's very talented. What are we going to put Hannah Montana in this, huh? Mm. <laughs> We'd have, you know, like a stance swap, like Seven, like becomes Hannah Montana and then takes off the wig when she does the dancing. <laughs> <laughing. laughs> exactly. See, you're getting it. Uh, here we go. Game number two, Marky Moo. A little bit behind, good dodge. Bunny might have overcommitted there, but nope, she slips on back onto the stage. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. Bunny looking for another aggressive play here. And again, oh, that's oh, a dodge one down. and a two, and looking for a way to potentially close oh. that one out. Does get that hit. That's big. 
Weapon toss and yep. Barney with a massive lead now. Some fantastic gauntlet play, just keeping that pressure on Marky Moo. A great start to the second game after dropping the first one here. Now Marky Moo's got a lot of ground to make up for. Because, I mean, honestly, Bunny doesn't even really have that much damage in that first stock here. Yeah, this is a really good spot for Bunny to be in as long as she doesn't eat too much damage from Marky Moo right now. He was looking for the ground pound, but Bunny did a really good job with that nair protecting yourself. Mm -hmm. And honestly, like, if Marky Moo just kind of played that a little bit differently there, he probably could have found a way to even this up. But looks like he might get the stock back relatively soon anyway. He's got some great pressure here. That's a burn dodge. OK, uh -oh. weapon toss for coverage. Sweat beating. Bunny's going to fall here. And yep, Marky Moo finds the stock. Great stuff. Being able to even that back up after what was like basically a pretty rough start. Did a really good job. Uh, again, it's a fairly even game. It's just a matter of, you know, can you get a little bit of extra damage here? But Marky Moo has definitely responded very, very well. Okay, another edge guard. Nice oh. ground pound. Oh, missed the second one. Oh, wait, still got more though. And Marky Moo's gonna fall? That's honestly Marky Moo's fault. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be real. Like, they were both trying to cheese each other and Marky Moo tried to cheese the cheese. And like, you put more cheese on top of cheese, it's just a lot of cheese. and. One of you gets cheese in the end. Well, you I know? think if you if you put enough cheese, I think it becomes a, a sauce or something. I think you need to put like something else. Like, because if I put like cheddar on top of like Gouda, that doesn't make a sauce, you know? I'm no chef. But that that, that does potentially make a pretty good pizza. Yeah. <laughs> I would be down. Okay, gravity cancel side light in there. Bonnie still has the movement. No panics there. Nice. Couple extra hits here. Marky Moo on that final stock here in game number two. Needs to finish the stock off of Bunny. Mm -hmm. That'll do it. There we go. Very good stuff here. And now gonna opt to stick with the scythe. I actually like this. A lot of good early damage uh, potential here, especially, you know, just controlling where Bunny goes if you can find these hits. Could get a very good Ooh. off stage position. But oh! now Bunny, that was sick. I'll take that. Wow. Slide charge <laughs> side sig toward the stage. That was dope. Was not expecting that, and neither was Marky Moo. And he ate it and uh, couldn't get the wall touch. Yep, and we're going into game three here. And honestly, this is a pretty good match so far. Both of them are trying some very silly things. We're seeing a lot of uh, questionable off stage gameplay, but I love it. I, I love it when people play dangerous. Because yeah. uh, it's, it's, it's either more see, entertaining sometimes. Right, you see either see like the greatest plays of all time mm -hmm. or the worst plays of all time. And either way, I am very entertained. And sometimes I can't tell the difference. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Game three, back to the world's end. No character swaps. Marky Moo and Bunny, I'm expecting both to lean into their gauntlets because that was kind of the weapons that they both played the most in that last game. Yep. Okay. Here we go. Both of them. Okay, there we go. Marky Moo going to be able to get that first Ooh. opening here. Interesting Ooh. option there with that. Gravity Ooh. cancel neutral light high in the sky. Ground pound. Bunny running out of options here. And Marky Moo. OTD. Zero to hero. He's going to get the KO. That is actually a very spicy way. As I was talking about with cheese, uh, we, <laughs> it's not stopping here. Put more on my pasta, Olive Garden. Uh, <laughs> you will not I will stop. never say when. You will never, I will never say when. You put the rest of that Parmesan on my pasta right now. Give me the whole thing. Give me the whole thing. Well, right now, Bunny going to try to try to take the whole thing back as Bunny not taking too much damage, doing some good jobs with these neutral lights, side airs. Oh. And Marky Moo can't get the touch. Wanted the nair for the chase dodge. I honestly, almost a zero to death right back. Yeah. <laughs> like, it was really close. Like one hit, but that's like pretty much it. All right, now both of these two <laughs> holding on to these gauntlets again. You know, I'm totally down. Yeah, let's go off stage again. We haven't been losing socks, you know, <laughs> for no reason out here. <laughs> Yo, it's like the uh, the earlier sets, right? It was, uh, we don't need a stage. We yeah, just, we don't. All we need is two walls yes! and a scrap. Yes, that's what we need. Just give me walls. <laughs> give me walls, the map. <laughs> Sparky would have gone somewhere else for that. <laughs> Honestly, Whoa, I... Whoa, what are you doing? Sorry, what were you saying? No, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about it afterwards. Yeah. Neutralite doesn't get the recovery to punish that spot dodge. Mm -hmm. Nice little down air. No dodges coming out from Bunny, and you're seeing Marky Moo not going in for that recovery as a result. Yep. Oh, caught your feet. <laughs> Just throwing it out there. Yep. <laughs> I hope these two are having as much fun as I am watching this set right now. 
I hope everyone is having as much fun as, as you are watching Not the viewers. Okay. They do not deserve fun. They complain too much. Yeah, Sora, time them out. Yeah, time them out, Sora, all of them, right now. No edge guard. Bunny with the nair. Markimu unarmed. Couldn't find the ground pound. All right. Here we go. Now we got more oh. gauntlets oh. here. And but trying to find Bunny, but Bunny's just saying, look, I'll have none of that. I will get back to the stage in due time. And Markimu says, well, you didn't ask for permission, so please exit stage left. I am surprised here. Markimu has been struggling to find that finishing blow. There it is, finally, unarmed, downlight into the recovery. Mm -hmm. but here we go. Now, yep, gonna stick with the gauntlets here. Honestly, not surprised. It's kind of been the uh, the story so far as it comes to the set, is these two just wanted to punch each other in the head as much as possible. So eventually, concussions may form, and that's what you want. <laughs> Oh, 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 see, that's Turn it around. Oh, oh, no, no, it. oh wait, wait. Toss it ah. No, she touched, though. She touched, oh, though. Wait. She's no. got it. The touch again. <laughs> Marky Moo going to win it. 2-1 is in the lead. <laughs> what a scrap to finish that one off. I like that. that that's was, what I want. That was just absolutely. This is like, <laughs> this is peak for me. This is so peak. This is Kino. This is cinema. <laughs> <laughs> like, what, this is that actually, yeah, just barely touched in the bottom corner there, too. That was actually crazy. Uh, unfortunate. What a mess, but what a beautiful mess. A beautiful mess. Oh, geez. You know, if Markimu was a little bit earlier on that ground pound, Bunny's Nair would have hit, mm -hmm. and that engagement would have continued. Yeah. Oh, man. In a perfect world. If only. But that was, that was still really good. This is, this is still a pretty perfect world for me right now. It's a great world because we've got game four here. Bunny mm -hmm. versus Marky Moo. Maybe we get a game five. Very real possibility, but it's on the back of Bunny to see if that can be accomplished. Mm -hmm. And right now, uh, I feel like both players are playing oh. a little too silly here to potentially get to that. But never mind with Bunny with a strong stare to close that one out. And honestly, not taking too much damage in the process either. We might be able to get there. Yeah, that was a big stare. Caught Marky Moo's head. I didn't think it was going to reach far enough or KO early enough, but... Oh. Exactly. Oh. oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Hands it back, takes it away, and oh. now we've got 2-2. Two, two. Everything's back to even. This set is sick. This is sick. All right, well, here we go. We got an axe in hand. Not exactly what we've been seeing for most of the set. <laughs> this isn't a gauntlet. <laughs> it's funny. I don't think you're, you're uh, doing the right thing. Oh, okay, good dodge. Weapon toss, unfortunately, not able to hit for Bunny as Marky Moo was a little too fast for it. Mm -hmm. That's a burn dodge for Marky Moo. Bunny misses the ground pound. Oh, okay. another one maybe. Oh, oh wait. Turn it. Reversal. Picked up into the ground pound. Marky Moo touch. Ooh, the fast fall to avoid the ground pound there from Bonnie. They're both back onto the stage. Mm -hmm. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I want to, I, I wish, do we have like a timer that we can see like <laughs> how much time they've spent off stage? Like both of them at the same time, then on stage. That because would be, that would be a good stat to get. It, it, I'm pretty sure like it's been <laughs> a, a lot more off stage than nice. on stage. I'm going to be real. But we do see Marky Moo get the second stock out here, despite the fact that Bunny started off so hot. We are in a little bit of a, a troubling position here as we might end this on game four unless Bunny finds something to answer back. Yeah, first things first, Bunny's gotta get the stock. The Neutralite will disarm, Ground Pound will not connect. Mm -hmm. Side air, and we're right. back to even. It is a completely even game. We're gonna toss this ax here and probably go with the gauntlets. Yep. We'll see how this one plays out. No weapon spawn for Marky Moo, but able to sneak out those gauntlets. Back to the edge. Eats the dare, Bunny. It's a wall touch. Marky Moo gonna back off, wants to secure this safely. Okay, there we go. Bunny now making a little bit of noise here, but Marky Moo finding his way back on stage. These two, again, just dancing around each other. Uh, uh, wait, we've been more on the right side, but I guess we'll take the left side today. <laughs> <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta balance out the edge guards, you know? <laughs> I'm pretty sure these two have the same brain cell <laughs> when it comes to playing on gauntlets. <laughs> they're, they're sharing the one. <laughs> oh, okay. Bunny throws it away. This could be real bad oh, as no! the recovery gets eaten. And Marky Moo closes it out 3-1 to earn his spot in the top <sighs> three, bettering his chances going to the Autumn Royale. Yep. And you know what? That was a very, very fun set. Unfortunately, we didn't get a game five. I would have watched, uh, would have loved to watch one more game. But you know what? I'll definitely take this. Uh, very fun. I hope the viewers like you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it.